What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Chlorophyll Shiftry on the ranked double ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But today, we are showcasing Shift Tree alongside with Cantonian Ninetales to set the sun, doubling Shift Tree's speed in the sun, so making it very, very strong. Great Pokemon, learns Fake Out, and also learns Tailwind to actually boost the speed of the rest of the squad. So it should be a fun one. We should be able to grab some wins with these guys. Ninetales is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. It's got Drought, and it's got the Heat Rock to make the sun last 8 turns instead of 5. It's got Protect, Will-O-Wisp for Burns, Solar Beam, and Heat Wave for its other two moves. In our second slot, we got Assault Vest Landorus with Intimidate Ed's ability and a great move set of stopping tantrum, Rock Slide, Terra Blast, and U-Turn. Coming in our, at our number 3 spot, we got Fluttermane over here. Fluttermane's a Pokemon that you can never go wrong with. This one's got Protosynthesis and a Fairy Feather as item to boost fairy type moves. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind for a bit of speed control on the Steam, and Protect for its final move. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane's best friend. It is going to be Chiyu. Pair up Chiyu with Fluttermane. Both of them are doing crazy amounts of damage. Chiyu's got the Beats of Ruin alongside with the Light Orb as its item. It's got Protect, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, and Overheat. In our fifth slot, we got Roaring Moon with Protosynthesis and a Booster Energy as its item. It's got Jaw Lock, Acrobatics, Breaking Swipe, and Protect for an amazing moveset for any Roaring Moon. In our final slot, we got the star of the show. We got Shift Tree over here. Chlorophyll adds its ability to double its speed in the sun with a Focus Dash as its item. It's got Fake Out for first turn flinches, Knock Off to take off items, plus it's a stab move. We got Solar Blade, which actually hits in one turn when it's in the sun. And last but not least, we got Tailwind to boost the speed of the rest of the Pokemon on our team. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Shift Tree Sun team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a team with no weather control. This, So this screams to me, let's rock out with the sun, let's get pumping here. But they got Shen Pao, they got Ogre Pond, alongside with Regular Arcanine, Storm Drain Gastron, which is fine because I have not one water move on this team. And then they also got Sinistra and Ursulina for more of a Trick Room side of this team. But I think leading Shift Tree and Ninetales would be a solid lead for us. I actually really like that. So I'm gonna end up going into both of them. If they wanna lead a fire type Pokemon, we can kinda just get after it with Shift Tree, maybe just trasalizing it into poison. Just use a knockoff and fake out and stuff like that to kinda kinda get some work done. But in the back end, I don't mind Chiyu. I don't I actually don't mind all four of these guys. And I'm kinda leaning towards Landers. Just because Landers can hit like an absolute truck with Rock Slide and be super effective onto a lot. So I'm gonna go Landers. And last but not least. I don't want somebody faster. Probably Fluttermane here, right? Get some speed cooking. 174. What do you got? You got booster energy, which will probably go into oh attack. It will go into attack, so. Hmm. Really bulky too. Maybe I should just pop tail with ship tree. Yeah, go roaring moon. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I like it a lot. I definitely could have brought in Chiyu and Fluttermane. They are really good in any situation, but really want to use Roar Moon, especially with this, these EVs. I haven't, haven't really seen it. I was look, looking at speed sounds. Like, this must be high. It was at 120 something, which is very low. They haven't invested in more HP and attack, which is pretty cool. But they end up going into both of these guys right here. I do have Wind Rider, so I can't get hit by Heat Waves, but Ivy Cudgel is a different story. Ivy Cudgel, a totally different story. But I'm thinking from here, just hard swap and nine tails into into Lando and maybe just setting up a tailwind because we should be faster than both these guys um I could terrestrialize I could fake out here as well um actually I think turn one should be I think honestly we should just I think we should fake out and maybe get something done with nine tails here right I think we should go for heat wave and fake out somebody but fake out the ogre pond I think I'm gonna fake out the Shen Pao a bit more, to be honest with you guys. Actually, I'm gonna terrestrialize and fake out. I just don't wanna die here. I really don't wanna die here. So I'm gonna terrestrialize the Shift Tree. I don't wanna die out to an ice move. I really wanna be able to get off a Tailwind. 
So back to Rastalizing here, it should definitely help us out. We should be able to soak up a shot and then be able to go into Intimidate next turn and potentially just set up Tailwind for the rest of the squad. Or maybe just let Shift Shoot die out from there, but doubling our speed in the sun is wonderful. Vagot's gonna come out here up against Ogre Pond, chunk up some nice damage, and there's the Ice Spinner. This is exactly why we Terrasalized. Now we soak. Beautiful. Love the Heat Wave coming in hot here, doing some big time damage, bringing Shen Pao down to one. Massive. It's just massive. It's just a massive turn. So that's a good turn for us. So from here, I definitely want to set up Tailwind. The only first turn priority move that they do have would be... It would be uh, Sucker Punch, but if I go Tailwind, Sucker Punch is just going to get dodged. So I'm pulling off the Tailwind. I'm setting up the speed for the rest of the squad for four more turns. Pretty solid turn for us to actually do that. Make a nice little read there. But out comes the Tailwind, which is huge. I think Ninetales should outspeed both of them now, right? It does. And that's going to pick up a double KO. So hot start for us. Very hot start for us. Shift tree getting work done. Getting work done. Big time fake out. Big time Tailwind. Now, as long as they don't have first turn priority moves, we're going to be able to thrive out here and get off some big time damage. So that was a big time terror type from us as well. So I was sitting there thinking, I was like, if anyone's going to protect, it's probably going to be Shen Pao. And he's probably going to be attacking my shift tree if I fake out Ogre Pond. So let's just Terrasalize just in case. And that's exactly what we did. So Ursula Luna comes out here alongside with Sinistra. And Heat Wave could be the play. Solar Beam could be the play as well. I think I'm just going to Heat Wave and throw a knockoff here as well. I'd rather get rid of Sinistra. I'm not really too worried about Ursa Luna. And if anything, Ursa Luna is going to be the one to last last. So I'm just going to double down to Sinistra here. Sinistra protects. Okay. Hyper Voice coming in here. Not bad protect on Sinistra. I, I would have never expected Sinistra to protect here. To be honest with you guys. Would have never expected that. So Heat Wave's gonna fly here. I think Ursuline is probably going for like a Hyper Voice. But we get off some nice damage with that Heat Wave. Now you just go for an Earth Power. So you leave my Shift Tree on the field. Thank you. Thank you for leaving my Shift Tree on the field. We love a good old Shift Tree. We love a good old Shift Tree. Now I can just bring out you if I want to, right? Or I could just go with you. I feel like we can't really go wrong with either or. I'm just gonna go into uh, Roar Moon at this point. So we'll get our Roar Moon here. Our attack stat is through the roof, especially with this booster energy. It's absurd. It is absurd. And from here, I'm just going to go jaw lock into this slot. And I'm going to try to pull off a Solar Blade, dude. Solar Blade can hit like a truck. <laughs> it only goes in one turn. The sun's still out and about. We actually have the sun for a lot of turns, considering Ninetales has Heat Rock. So it works wonderful. So now they finally Terrastalize. I feel like if they Terrastalize... One, the other one's still getting hit hard. They're gonna terrestrialize the Ursuline into a ghost type. That's fine. I think Solar Blade might still be able to KO here. Solar Blade hits hard. It's stabbed too. So to get that terror out there, Solar Blade is charging. We're absorbing sunlight. And here we go. Solar Blade coming out here. I love this animation. Looks so sick. And it almost KOs. It almost picks up the KO. Of course, this thing is rocking the berry as well. And Joel Lock should come out here and do some nice damage. Is it going to KO? It does KO. So Sinistra drops out for the count. Ursuluna's real low on HP. Just ate Citrus Berry. And we should be fine here in this match. Out comes a Blood Moon. Wow, you're leaving my shit. It makes no sense to leave the Shift Tree out on the field. Especially after Terrastalizing. Because now I can just hit you with Knockoff and now you're done. Now you're done. You know I have Knockoff. I tried to use it on Sinistra. But match number one going to us. They're either going to cancel the battle or they're going to let this knockoff finish them off. But Shift Tree was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. They pick up a KO onto my <laughs> onto my Roar Moon. Just as like a big F you to me, right? <laughs> they said, you know what? Screw your Roar Moon. I'm taking him out. But Shift Tree's got its back. Takes it out. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Shift Tree thriving here in match number one. We start off 1-0. Let's go hop to our second match. Not a bad start for us. Grabbing a win in match number one. But the second match... Looks definitely a bit tough. This is this team just screams meta, right? This is the meta meta eest. Is that how you would say it? The meta eest of metas <laughs> of teams right here with Tornadas, Urshu, Amoongus, who I hate playing up against, Iron Hands, Golden Go, and Arcanine. Yeah, that's real meta for you guys. The meta eest of metas. All right, how am I playing this one? They have Weather Control. They can go in the Rain Dance. They're probably going to end up leading Tornadas just because of that, which is kind of annoying. 
Might just go flutter main this instance and try to get speed control that way. And I could also lead it with Chiyu. You got ghost type Chiyu, you're water. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying with water. I would rather have you ghost. But I'm going to go Chiyu. I'm going to go flutter main here. I actually really like that lead. And then I'm just going to go land nurse and booster energy roaring. Like I said, this one, this one's going to be tough for us. Hopefully we get to pull out this one for you guys and try to get rocking out for, for you. But that first match was solid. Shift tree was just thriving. Get that chlorophyll in there, tailwind to set up a team. But I feel like anytime this team goes up against a team like this, which is straight meta, has weather control, has a lot of counters for different things, it's really tough. It's really tough. Especially in this format, it's tough to beat the meta if you're not using the meta. But we're going to be trying here. They end up leading their water squad here. And that was just in case I led the heat squad. And I think from here, I could go Icy when I could go Dazzling Gleam. They're just going to set up a Tailwind, and things get a little scary with Tailwind, right? Things get really scary with Tailwind. I still want to go into a Dazzling Gleam here, I, I, I feel. And I think I just want to Terrasalize you and maybe just go into a Dark Pulse and try to finish off Urshifu. Oh, wait, is that Dark Urshifu? Or is that Water? Is that Water Urshifu? Hold up. No, it's Water Urshifu. Okay. I'm thinking I want Thrasslash and just go, mm, we'll pop a Heat Wave here. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I still want to Thrasslash, though, which is solid. But they can definitely go Tail in here, which they're probably going to do. Actually, that thing could be Choice Scarf, so they could just win Weakling Storms. I'm just hoping he goes after Chi with Surgeon Strikes rather than Fluttermane, because Fluttermane cannot survive a, a Surgeon Strikes, which is just why our Shoes are such a big threat. He ends up detecting this turn, which is fine. We're Dazzling Gleaming and we're Heat Waving, so... That's not a bad turn. He ends up setting up the Rain Dance. Rain Dance now comes out here. That's some game's gonna chip up, and this one's just looking tough. Maybe we should have brought in our Heat Squad. Maybe we should have brought in our Heat Squad. Heat Wave's gonna do like nothing here. It's gonna do like five damage. I'm gonna lose some HP here. Um. Huh. I might hard swap, but into who? Into you? You're still gonna take a big amount of damage. But I am gonna hard swap you. This is tough. This is brutal. I don't like where we're sitting. I really don't like where we're sitting at all. I could go Dark Pulse, and I might go Dark Pulse, but Urshfu's just a threat. He's just too big of a threat right now. Um. I mean, now's the perfect time for them to set up a tail and just start attacking me. I'm gonna swap the Flutter Man. I'm gonna go into the boy right here. I'm gonna go into the guy. He's my guy. I'm gonna boost your energy up. So I'm gonna put my attack stat up. Um, I don't know how well we're gonna soak up the Surge Strikes if it is coming in this slot. And there's the tail. So we kinda knew the tail when the Surge Strikes was happening here. That's how we swapped to the Warren Moon, but how much damage are we gonna be taking here? Okay, that, that's that, that's fine. I, I don't mind that. That's fine. Survive this turn. Dark Pulse is gonna come out here. I don't know how much damage Dark Pulse. Is gonna do, let's be honest here. We'll kind of go from there. I'd rather have Flutter Main than Warren Moon, but that's actually some really good damage there. I actually love that damage. That's some big time damage. That's some big time damage. But now. Now we want to go into Jaw Lock and you. Actually, we'll just go here. We'll go Acrobatics into you. I mean, no, if you Surge Strikes me, I'd rather have Urshfu then. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go Jaw Lock into you. And I'm going to stick with this Dark Pulse right in this slot. Because we know it's KOing. We know it's KOing. So, he ends up detecting. That's totally fine. A Bleak Wind Storm is probably going to come out here. But both my Pokemon should be able to soak. Awesome. Beautiful. Lovely. Big time soaks coming out from Squad. Dark Pulse is going to get blocked. And we should be able to take out Tornadus here. Jawlock coming in hot. Alright. We're taken out here. We have two solid back end Pokemon. But I think right now our main focus is to waste out Tailwind. And that's why Urshfu is such a big threat. It's like we're trying to waste out Tailwind. And we can't protect to waste out Tailwind because he just hits through protects. It's absurd. It's absurd. It is absurd. 
So now I feel like I know their turn, right? We're gonna fake out the Chiyu. We're gonna fake out one person and try to KO with the other one. Um, I'm gonna go for a breaking swipe if I can land it. And I'm just gonna protect the Chiyu. Oh my lord. So I protect Chiyu. I think the fake out's coming in that slot, right? Makes the most sense. And yeah, it does. So he's gonna fake out this slot. And he's just gonna take me out with Surgeon Strikes with, on the other slot. Or Aqua Jet, that works. Man, Aqua Jet's a threat. It's such a threat. How many turns are left in Tailwind, man? Is it over? It's not over yet. I want to intimidate. I want to intimidate, but it's like, oh my lord, we still die to like these Surgeon Strikes and all these moves. I just think I had to sacrifice him at this point, right? This is brutal. This is so brutal. It's so brutal. Going up against men, it's just so hard to play up against them. I'm gonna intimidate. Like, I can't protect because you're just gonna surge and strikes through it. I don't wanna swap into Fluttermane because at that point you just. You just rip into me. Should be one turn left in Tailwind, right? Yeah, like, ah, dude, it's so hard to play up against these guys. I'm gonna go for a stop and catch them. And I'm just gonna look to KO the Ursa. It's so brutal. Like, I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. We, we definitely should have should have brought the sun. I feel like after they set up that rain, it was pretty nice for them. But my Chiyu should be able to outspeed. We should be able to finish off Urshu with Dark Pulse here. But at this point, it's like, you're going to KO me with Wild Charge. And then I bring out Fluttermane, and you probably have Heavy Slam. Right? Maybe you miss an attack? No, never. Never. <laughs> There's the wild charge. Um, yeah. I mean, I gotta hope this thing's not vested, or maybe it doesn't have heavy slam. But most, most of them, if you're running a meta team, you definitely have iron hands with heavy slam, right? Rain finally stops. Tailwind's gone, both at the same time. We got our fairy feather flutter me. Ready to get kicking. And they got one more Pokemon, which is a big time counter. This Pokemon's so good. Yeah, it's tough news. It's tough news for Jeans out here. Yeah, we weren't really doing much anyway. Alright, so we'll be one and one for today's video. I am still going to throw a Dazzle Beam. Just want to see how much damage this is going to do onto that uh, Iron Hands. And it is going to do... Yeah, not. we would need to use two more to actually KO, so... Stood no chance up against these guys. I think it's definitely Assault Vested. Out comes a Flare Blitz, and Flare Blitz is KO and Flutter made by itself. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One on one so far. Let's go hop through a second match. Look to play a little bit better and grab you guys. A Final match coming at you guys. And look what we're going up against. Rain, 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 and more rain. It's a rain team. They got Tornadus to set the rain. They got Pelipper. Or not Pelipper. Politoed to set the rain. And then all the other Pokemon really thrive out in the rain. So Ninetales. I'm going to need you here. I'm gonna need you here, Ninetales. We're gonna bring Ninetales in the back end here to try to set the rain effort or the, the sun after they set the rain. And from here, a lead. Like, Shiftree wouldn't be bad for a lead. I don't mind it for a lead. It's a grass type Pokemon, and maybe I could just set up Tailwind. So I'm gonna go Shiftree here. I am also going to lead it with. Um. Fluttermane? Or maybe just you. You're not bad here. I, li I like Warm Moon. So I'm going to go Warm Moon. I'm going to go Shift Tree. Got to bring the Nine Tails in the back end. And then last but not least, I. Mm, do we go Fluttermane? Or... Yeah, let's go Fluttermane here. Let's go Fluttermane. I mean, maybe I should have went Chiyu with the Water Terror type. But this Rain team is looking powerful, man. It's looking powerful. We're, we're going to try to counteract it here. We're going to try to counteract it. Last game. You know what the Pokegod just said to us? They were like, last game you versus a little Rain team. You got whooped on. Now you're going to verse the gods of, of rain teams. They end up going into both of these guys right off the rip. So that's not bad for me. Um, I don't mind it too much. Um, I do have Wind Rider, which is great. Oh, no, I don't have Wind Rider. I forgot. Um, what's our player? What's our player? I definitely want to set up a Tailwind. I don't think you Bleak Wind Storm right now. So I'm going to set up a Tailwind pretty freely here. And I'm going to try to drop Acrobatics. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think you go for a Bleakman Storm right this instant. I just don't see that happening. And plus, you could think I'm Windrider. You could. Could think. I'm, could definitely think I'm Windrider. 
Maybe you don't want to go for Bleak Wind Storm, because wouldn't that be considered a wind move? Yes. Um, okay. So I wonder what they're gonna do here. Are they gonna set the rain this early? I'm looking just to get off some damage. Maybe I should terrestrialize the the Roy Moon. Maybe I will. Maybe I will next turn. Let's see how much damage we can get here. He has a protecting Lolanda. Oh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Ivy Culture gonna come out here. Shift Tree's able to soak that. No problem. No problem. Acrobatics put you down to one. Are you even sashed? You're not even sashed. You're not even sashed. You're just living on one. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I could have faked out that turn too, but I like I like I like where we went there. Um, hmm. I think from here, since we have Tailwind up, they're just gonna set up a Tailwind. Which I mean, I don't mind. I could hard swap, maybe you know, like Fluttermane or something. But I, I I think I like where we're sitting right now. So we're gonna allow them to set up Tailwind. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here. I'm gonna finish off you. Actually, why wouldn't I just do this? <clears throat> why wouldn't I go knock off here? And then just break and swipe across the board. Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. They're gonna set up a tailwind. And they're gonna withdraw the ogre So hopefully they go into like a physical attacker where I can drop the attack with this breaking swipe. It'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. And they go in the polytoad set. So it's, so they set the rain here. They set the rain. Um the tailwind's gonna come out here. That's fine. I think I might just hard swap into Nine Tails next turn. And Breaking Swipe's gonna come in hot here. So Breaking Swipe, combine it with this knockoff, should be able to take out Tornadus. And if that's the case here, which it is, they can't swap into Politoed anymore. They cannot get rain. The only way they can get rain was swapping into Politoed or using Rain Dance with Tornadus. And we just took both of those options off the field. So now's a perfect turn to hard swap Roaring Moon into Nine Tails, set the sun, have Shift Tree get cooking. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Ludi Cole coming out here. Ludi Cole can fake out. We know that's a possibility. Um, I think we still just attack, right? We terrestrialize you, though. We know you could be rocking Ice Beam. Yes, I'm going to terrestrialize you. And this is this is a perfect time to hard swap. Get that, get that heat out here. Get that heat on out here. They could fake me out, but I am going to Terrastalize just in case I want to fake out the Shift Tree alongside with like an Ice Beam from Politoed. Could be tough. Could be tough. But something that I actually haven't done in a little bit. Let me let me pull it up real quick on my other mod. I haven't shout out my members in a, in, a, in a good bit. If you guys want to become a member and support me a little bit extra, make sure you guys head down to the link in the description below. Huge shout out to all my members. I really appreciate all you guys. But y'all got my boy Kalitsky, Jaren Conley, Ryshout. Mr. Mime, Ivan Lawrence, Jan Colo, and Brandon Stromberg. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and becoming a member. I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I have a Discord actually coming. I know you guys have been asking for a while. I honestly just been super lazy and been very busy. But uh, I actually started working on it last night. So we got a couple pages of it done. Coming out very soon for you guys. I really do appreciate all my members. So if you guys want to become a member, support me a little bit extra. You get some cool emotes down below. Like I said, link is down in the description below. But we're going to end up terrestrializing the shift tree. I think they're going to terrestrialize Politoed here, right? Is this a Politoed, Terra? No, it's Ludi Cole. Even better. Even better. Going into straight water. Looking a little scary. Straight water Ludi Cole. That's kind of kind of odd. He's going to end up protecting the Politoed. So he protects the Politoed. Solar Blade's going to get blocked. And I have Solar Blade and Solar Beam, which is awesome. Which is massive up against these guys. Solar Beam and Solar Blade. And out comes Ice Beam. This is exactly why we Terrasalize. I'm not dealing with that. I'm <laughs> just not dealing with that. This is not dealing with that. But from here, I'm gonna Solar Blade down you. And actually, I'm gonna Solar Blade the Polytoad. And I'm gonna Solar Beam the other one. So double Solar moves coming out here with the sun. And I love Polytoad's stance, yo. It's so funny. He's standing there like, bring it on, man. His stance is so tough. He looks like he never backs down from any battle. Little Politoed, dude. The Politoed's such a sick Pokemon. I love it all around, but I think their only chance of actually making a comeback here would be to double protect. Wait. I forgot about Ogre Pond. How did I forget about Ogre Pond? How did I forget about Ogre Pond? 
I said earlier that they had no Pokemon to swap into. I forgot about this one HP Ogre Pond. That's honestly hilarious. Solar Blade comes through here, KO in the body, dude. I thought I was like, wait a minute. What is going on? How are they swapping? But this works out fine because Solar Beam's gonna finish you off. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Now it just turns to a 2v1. And, I, and if, in that case, I'm surprised you didn't just fake out and swap the Politoed. Right? That, that should have been the play. That should have been the play. Something I totally forgot about. But honestly, it ends up working out well for us in the end. Very odd, though. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Sitting there like, yo, what is going on? But yeah, they should have just faked out with the Ludicolo or protected with it and swapped the Politoed. But now it's definitely game. We're going to go Solar Blade and another Solar Beam. And this, this Shifshi Sun Tree really rocked out for me today. Battle was canceled. 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video, picking up a winning record, which feels good, especially using Shift Tree on the rank ladder. This team was phenomenal, pairing it up with Heat Rock Ninetales and the other four Pokemon on the squad. Made for a really good team and a really good video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.